Hello YouTube, Jibo Unit here, and I'm here to talk about shotguns. Well, I'm only going to talk about the shotgun that I purchased. Um, I went to Big Five, seems like my go-to store, and uh, actually I got this a while back, but um, I ended up, you know, getting a shotgun because I wanted to have a shotgun. I wanted one for self-defense, uh, home defense, and uh, you know, I'm not like a big hunter or, uh, you know, clay pigeon enthusiast or anything like that. Um, although I have shot clay pigeons and uh, discovered I was pretty good at it, so I became interested in shotguns. So, like, oh, I should get one myself. So I finally got one. Um, I, my history of shotguns is that you know I I did train with them in the military. It was required firearms training, and we trained on Remington 870s. So over time, I learned that you know um, since I'm not a, an avid hunter or you know. I'm not in shooting competitions or anything like that. Uh, just just a regular person who likes guns and who fires them and practices with them. Um, I figured, you know, I'll just get a basic bones, bare bones type of shotgun. And the ones that are um, the more popular, well, not the more, the most popular shotgun is the Remington 870 Express, which is what I trained on in the military. Um, the sister gun to that is the Mossberg 500 models. So they're basically the same. Um, I forgot what the actual sales were for shotguns, but but uh, you know the Remington 870 has a brunt of them, and uh, the Mossberg 500 has you know a few million themselves. But you know it's not nearly as much as the 870. But they are sister guns. So if you are looking for a shotgun for just basic home defense. I highly, highly, highly recommend the Mossberg 500 model or the Remington 870 Express. Now, of course, you're going to have cheaper shotguns, and there are some, but basically you get what you pay for. The reason why the 870s and the 500s are reasonably priced is because uh, there's so many of them, and they're, you know, they're, they're a pretty popular type of shotgun to have. And they've proven over time their workmanship and reliability and everything else about Remington and Mossberg. So there you have it. So basically I chose a Mossberg 500 because it was the one on sale. If it were the Remington 870 Express you better darn well believe I would have gotten the 870 Express as well. So I just got the one that was on sale and so here she is. Mossberg 500 Persuader Cruiser Shotgun Pump Action. So, those of you who have a keen eye and are very good with firearms will say that is not a stock Mossberg 500. And you're right, it's not. It is not a stock Mossberg 500. Um, the butt stock was normal, it's a solid synthetic um, stock. And I changed that out. I went to gun show. I went to Crossroads of the West gun show in Del Mar, and I bought. It was an actual kit. It was a tactical kit that included an adjustable stock, okay, a pistol grip, and a Picatinny forearm grip. Okay. Oh, and also it included this hand grip as well. I'll talk about this in just a second. All right. So. I changed those pieces out because basically, and I'm going to admit this, basically because I thought it was cool looking. Okay, I'm pausing there because I said I thought it was cool looking. Now, when it comes to firearms, I, I kind of hesitate on getting something that's cool looking. Although, okay, come on guys. I visually and everything yeah there's some things I would get because they are cool looking but you know um, when you get right down to it and you're you're in a serious handgunner cool looking things doesn't mean it works well okay fortunately this works well and it is cool looking so um, however this cool looking piece does not work for me and like and like I said I explain that later okay so I changed out the the stock and put the adjustable on there, the pistol grip and the forearm. Okay, and so this is a five-position 
adjustable stock. It's a little long there. There we go. And um, you know, it it works for me. Now, now the normal stock, you grip like this, and you're firing like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, a lot of people prefer that, and it's a very comfortable grip uh, when you're firing. But I happen to like the pistol grip, and it does work. I have taken this to the range and fired, you know, a, a lot of rounds through this with the pistol grip, uh, as well as the, the uh, regular stock. And I do find that I do like the pistol grip better. Maybe I got it in my mind that I bought this, so I better enjoy it, right? But no, it it does function very well. I mean. It, I like it. So, um, but anyway, um, more on this. Now, this handle, this forearm, I had this handle, and of course, the Picatinny rails. If you don't know, oh, let me go over that. If you don't know what a Picatinny rail is, uh, see how it's kind of grooved like that? It's the same size here and the same size there as well. These are rails to put accessories on. So you could put a tactical light, a laser, a hand grip, things like that. Okay. So initially I got this, I was totally geeked out. It's like, woo, got a forearm grip, you know, handle right here. Voila. See? That's pretty cool. It looks cool. But. For me, it doesn't function right. So, I mean, it's cool. You know, you got this thing here, right? Okay, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm holding it like this because I'm trying to hold this action down so I can cycle the weapon, okay? Just so you know, it's empty here. Um, oh, let me show this part right here. That ejector follower is the ejector follower only. There are no rounds inside the magazine tube. This is empty. I'll cycle it a few times. It is empty. Okay, so we got the handle here, all right? And then you cycle the slide. Cool. Woo. Okay. All right. So it's kind of cool. However, I I don't like it because it the the forearm wobbles. All right, so Hold on, let me just take this off here because it's it's already irritating me. Okay, now those of you who know shotguns know that this is the the you know the 500 is a basic uh, model, and uh, you know when with basic models, you know they're not going to be constructed as tightly with closer tolerances and as solidly as your top of the line models that are preferred by you know um, your professionals. Uh, whether it's shooting, law enforcement, um, hunters, okay? So if you notice here, this forearm wobbles, okay? It's just slight. There's nothing wrong with it. It just wobbles. It's just inherent. That's because these action slide bars right here, they're not made of aircraft aluminum or titanium or something that's solid where it's not going to move around, okay? You know, it's just a regular... You know, and there's the wobble right there, okay? So what that translates into is when I have this handle installed, whether I have it close or far or in between, it, I feel like I'm going to make it cockeyed and it's going to, it's not, I'm, I don't feel like I'm getting a solid, you know, on, on the slide action, okay? I like being close to the forearm and being close to these slide action rails to cycle this action, okay? That's just me. It's, you know, it's personal preference. I mean, some people, you know, these things are cool. Some people would prefer this. Some people may even put it on the side here, so it's like a, you know, over here instead of down here. It's, it's all up to you. That's why they customize these things. But for me, although I love the concept of a forearm grip, a handle, it just doesn't work for me on this particular gun. So, what does that do to this tactical Picatinny rail forearm grip? It pretty much makes it useless because now my hand is wrapped around all rails. 
And since I don't have humongous hands, putting a tactical light on here would just make it very awkward. But, however, in spite of that, this all came in, in a kit, so I, had, I couldn't just say, oh, I don't want this part. Um, what it does do is it gives the forearm texture and grip. And I personally like that feature of it. Um, because it, I, I feel like I've got a better grip. It just, it just feels better. And guys, like I said, this is all about personal um, preference. And so I, you know, this is what I prefer. I, after I was bummed out for a while removing the handle and then cycling this at the range, I, I started thinking, wow, you know, this is, I actually like this. This is pretty cool, you know. It feels more solid when I cycle it. Okay, so anyway, there you have it. The Mossberg 500 Persuader um, Cruiser. Now, the thing that's unique about this, you'll notice that the magazine tube, okay, the magazine tube is the same length as the actual barrel, okay. Um, I like this because it, it looks even on the end. So now I'm talking aesthetics, more personal preference. A lot of the other ones are cut off right here. So you got a longer and shorter. Kind of like staggered pipes on a bike, right? Um, I like both of them looking even. Um, and besides, the magazine holds more. This shotgun holds seven plus one three inch rounds, okay? This magazine tube will hold seven shells and then plus one because you can manually load one right up in here and there you go. Then after that you load up all of your shells right in here okay this ejector follower just starts shoving them in like so until you get seven shells in there and you've got a fully loaded shotgun pump action so that's really about it so if you're looking for a home defense bare bones basic shotgun you know like I said I highly recommend the Mossberg 500 model or the Remington 870 Express. So this one's mine. I love it. Shot it many times. I'm used to it. Um, it's it's a cool, you know, shotgun. And note to people, it is not a rifle. It is a long gun, but it is not a rifle. It is a shotgun. So let's get the terminology right. So anyway, well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and always. Be safe and take care of yourselves. Take it easy, guys. Bye.